right back again we are out here with the felony twin motor I'm gonna do some test runs with this setup Oh, it's not in. Just trying to figure out why it wouldn't turn on. Now this is the first time this thing's run since the big crash. So I'm really just uh, trying to give it some light rips now that it's got the fat tires on the back. Got a truck idling over here. It is Sunday. And every time I come here on Sunday, that truck is sitting there idling. So I have a feeling he lives in that truck. So I'm not gonna go crazy. Um, I do have all my cars out, speed cars. And yes, I did get the YouTube infraction back together. Wow, that's touchy. Want to make sure it's going straight. Just gonna do some light hits with it. Like I said, it is Sunday and now there's a car coming. It looks clear. That was a little quarter throttle. I always say, make some light hits um, before you uh, make your full rip. Cars come in both directions now. This is an industrial center. So, 
this road should theoretically be clear. We're gonna go give it a look because I am hearing some whining. So we'll do a dig. Paper cup. I know that uh, my front diff is off a little bit. It's one tooth more than it should be for this tire size. And that's why I wanna take a look at the gear mesh because I am hearing whining. So let me grab my box. I'm gonna get it up off the ground. Wow, this thing is heavy. It could be my gear mesh. Well, it's definitely the gear mesh. So, it auto paused, so we're gonna stop ride and ride, yes. So 82.7 miles an hour on that light hit. So 82.7. So we're gonna reset it. Start ride again. Put it back where it belongs. Motor's warm. Nothing to cry at. Just want to make sure the grub screws aren't coming out. So everything's looking okay. So I'm going to go do one more run. See, step it up a little bit. Make sure these sides are locked in. That's the biggest part of this body is making sure these sides are locked in. It was pretty stable on that hit, but like I said, it's turned down to 60%. Not only is it turned down to 60%, I only was quarter trigger on that because this twin setup literally scares me since I've crashed it so much. So I'm not gonna go ham with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here and we're gonna do another rip. All right, back again. We're gonna go ahead and try to do another rip.
such tall gearing and it's not censored so wait for this car it's cruising around we're gonna go ahead and get out of the sun Oh, another car. I really got to fix the gear mesh in this thing again. All right, I don't think I see any cars. I'm straightened out. I don't think I, I see something down there. No, nope, we're good. I had to abort the run. It started drifting left real bad. It was actually drifting right towards me. And I don't know why. I was almost a half trigger. I just keep seeing shadows down there. Yeah, see it's drifting. clear yeah something happened I didn't lock it up, it locked up itself. So it could be that one tooth off on the diffs. It could be having an issue. Um, this one doesn't have a center diff and that's probably the issue. Um, I really need to have a center diff if I'm gonna run the gear ratio off as far as it's off. I'm not really worried about the diff because I have extra. God, that truck is loud. Let me see if a gear came off. Everything looks okay. That's, I would say that's probably about 50 miles an hour, maybe 60. And it literally locked up like something was jamming into it. So, but this was the one that crashed. So I don't know if there's a diff issue or not. Let's see, stop ride and ride. So yep, 69 miles an hour. Hopefully you guys can see that and the sun's not in there. 
so, 9 miles an hour even and uh, something locked up so I'm gonna pull apart these diffs I'm gonna check them one more time I know I changed that rear diff but it's possible I need to change that front diff it is one tooth off and I do know this so but I wanted to drive the front more than I was driving the rear um, just to see if it'll keep the, the RC uh, straight but there we go um, I'm probably going to grab another car and uh, either this car the limitless or that limitless the white one and uh, we're going to give it another send in one of those all right out here with the b2 infraction i know it's hard to hear me We've got trucks idling here again on a sunday but gps is zeroed out i'm gonna do a light speed pass with this thing I'm running two 3S packs instead of a single this time. Last time I ran it, it was a single pack. So I wanna see how much of a difference. Now these are still low packs and these packs are real old. Um, my good packs are all 8S and this doesn't run 8S. So I have good 4S packs. I don't have good 3S packs. But we're gonna get this thing turned on and see about making a little test run on this thing. God, the steering lags sometimes. So I'm gonna get you guys tilted back up. Hopefully it's recording. Get a sip of my coffee. Magic Mountains right there. And it's drifting. So this is two 3S packs. And we're gonna see how this one does. Do a light. I don't want to wreck it. So I'm just, I'm using the stock controller. So I want to take it easy on it. And I do have a bit of a headwind. Straighten it up. I don't see any cars. So I was about one second into full trigger on that one. Try to let it cool off on its way back so it doesn't shut down. They do not like heat. And it's hard to do back-to-back -back runs, especially with old batteries. I saw a car coming so I let out of it in case I crash I don't need him running over the wreckage So two back to back. I basically touched full throttle on that one and had to let right back off. 
so we'll see what the GPS reads. I don't think I was in it long enough, but we'll see. I think this is a good speed for anybody learning to get into the speed game. The speed of, uh, of the V2 infraction and, uh, and the felony, it's a perfect speed for people. It honestly is. Really controllable. Uh, you know, I never felt like it was out of control. I am able to go full trigger. So, uh, I mean, it feels good. You can see I really got to blow this thing out. Motor temperatures aren't too bad. But let's see what the GPS has to say. Cut it out of here. Hopefully it recorded something. So it auto-paused. So stop. End ride. Yes. The heck is that? So there we go. Wow, 89.2 miles an hour. So twin packs do make a difference. Let's see if we can get this. Let me stand up. It's 89.2. Let me put this down so I can see. 89.2 miles an hour on the infraction V2. So 90 miles an hour. So that's not bad. Um, especially letting out of it, you know, it'll probably go, I'd say 91, 92, uh, with, uh, these old packs I'm running. The batteries I have in here and I'll show you guys, and I am running adapters, which isn't good either for, especially for speed runs. But I want to show you guys how old these packs are. These 4S packs, they're Electron Pros. They are so old. I've had these packs for, I want to say, almost a year, and I run them every weekend. So, they're 11.1, 5200, 50 Cs. So, and you can see they're not puffed or anything, but they have taken crashes. You can see where they split. You know, this one goes to about 95% now, 95, 96%, one of these batteries. And the other one will still go to 100. So, but it's not showing any dead cells. They're just, they're just old, weak packs now. So, for it to do 90 miles an hour with, uh, with some weak packs, that's very, very, very impressive. I'm very happy with 89 on some weak packs, 89.2. So... There we go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.